20 years ago, can you believe it? A movie that was so fetch, hit screens around the world and became a cultural phenomenon. Now, two decades later, Mean Girls has been reimagined as a musical. Tina Fey is once again behind the movie with Aussie actress Angry Rice starring alongside a very talented cast. Today, entertainment producer Anna Corday caught up with everybody ahead of its debut in cinemas tomorrow. And remember, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. We as women have to be able to support each other. Get in, loser. Tina Fey in Mean Girls was so gruel and so fetch, but as an aging millennial, I find it really hard to believe that it has been 20 years since the original film came out. Yeah, welcome to the party. Welcome to the old people section. Watching the new film, I was breathing sighs of relief that we didn't have smartphones and social media. Yes, yeah, you just got a little break at night. You know, you got home from school and until the next morning, nobody could really get you. But at the end of the day, the core of what teens go through, it, it doesn't change that much. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the core emotions are, are the same, right? You have a crush on who you have a crush on. You are, you won't shut up about it when you have a crush. You are jealous of people. And then the social media is just like an escalation in the way the war is fought, but the battle's the same. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. And Gowry, what a huge role to take on. It was a huge role to take on. I was very nervous. It took me maybe two weeks to decide if I wanted to do it. I was letting that fear get to me. As I was working on the songs, I realized I get chills every time I sing this song. After that, the fear dissipated and I just went in and, and had lots of fun. Look at this thing. I can't Sexy. Even see it. Like a face breast. Renee, you have such a history with Regina thanks to Broadway. So did that make it easier or harder to then bring her to the screen? I think in ways both, you know, easier in the sense that like, I don't think I looked at my script once because I just, I just know it, you know, it's in my body in a certain way. So I think there's less room for discovery. And Chris, you originally didn't want to audition. Why? I don't know. I mean, Mean Girls is iconic and I saw it and I was like, that's awesome. But like, partially I don't want to like sing, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that to people. And I was like, whatever, someone will do it well. And then they cut the singing and they came back and I was like, yes, I will tape. And then it worked out. You could be really hot if you change like everything. Avantika and BB, there are no plastics without Karen and Gretchen. So how did you react when you got the call up? When you get that email in your inbox, it's like a dream come true. You you think you could never possibly get the part. But I also think there is something nerve wracking about like the musical element of it all. Taking on this iconic franchise that you like looked up to your entire life, um, having that honor is obviously just like, it, it, it's so, it, it's such a blessing. All we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. What was it like getting to play Janice and Damien and, and give them your own little spin? It was so fun. I, I, I feel like, you know, especially in this version with them being the narrators and the know-it-alls and really helping guide the story, it was really like a, just a party every day. It was a lot of fun getting to know these people and I'm really glad that none of them were mean girls. Mm. That really helped. Um, but my God, can they act their socks off. She doesn't even go here. Look, everyone has their favorite quotes from the original film. I would love to know what yours are and what you love from the new movie. When people ask me, I panic and I can't think of anything. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops, so I bought army pants and flip flops. Yeah, that actress is amazing. That was the first movie I ever worked on. I was like, oh, here's this person who was just like three or four lines on paper, but she so stands out. I'm trying to think what we have in this one. Um, and I am a complete blank. I can't remember. It's like I've never seen it. Yeah. Jaquel's addition of the fan in the gym really delights me. Yeah. That was, he just had that that day because it was hot and, and we were all like, keep it, keep it. You have to pick a French name. Chanel. No. Celine Dion. No. Beyonce. I love Tina Fey. Mean Girls is in cinemas Where's tomorrow. Where's pink? My pi well, Joey asked me to wear blue this Your morning. Son? So my son, okay. yeah, so I'm wearing blue That's for my boy. Enough. Morning, Joey. <laughs> hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> 
What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?